take what you want from today's workout, just apply it to your own training, um, or try the full workout. This will really bomb your triceps in a variety of different ways. I'm sure you guys will have fun um, watching me struggle through it uh, <laughs> after a 12 hour shift at work. <laughs> this ain't gonna be easy. Don't want no part of this, none of the Alright guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHowPTI.com uh, So far this week in the gym, I've had 8 people, 8 guys and girls come up to me and say Russ, can you do me a session to hit my triceps? They feel like their triceps are falling behind other body parts with the, uh, the programs they've been doing and they just wanted a session where they could help that body part catch up So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a few exercises you can do if maybe you're feeling like your triceps are lagging behind your biceps in development um, or ladies looking to hit the back of the arm. I know it's a problem area for a lot of girls, so uh, today I'm going to show you all the main exercises which a lot of people get slightly wrong and end up missing some of the results that they're after um, in favor of just trying to put more weight out, right? Which is pointless. You're doing it for results, right? Um, I'm also going to show you a couple of exercises you might not have seen before, you know, different ways of doing exercises you might not have tried before, which are really going to just allow you to hit the muscle a little bit harder. It's a big muscle, it's bigger than your biceps, so if you want it to grow, you should be giving it a bit more attention than you're giving your biceps, right? If you want to get bigger arms, hit the biggest muscle in your arms, right? Same as if you want to train your legs, you know? Um, a lot of people make the mistake of just doing quad exercises on their legs, they ignore the hamstrings and they end up looking a bit strange. Uh, if you want to get bigger legs, hit the hamstrings hard and you, you'll, you'll notice an immediate improvement in your results there. Um, and it's the same with arms, you know? So today, we're going to get started, we're going to go through a few of my favorite moves. Um, take what you want from today's workout, just apply it to your own training. I'm sure you guys will have fun um, watching me struggle through it uh, <laughs> after a 12 hour shift at work. <laughs> this ain't going to be easy. Um, I'm ready though, come on let's go. Alright guys, first exercise, close grip bench press. Uh, common mistake people make on this one, they let their elbows come out. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, this isn't a standard bench press, so if you watch when I do this, just use the bar at first, get used to the technique, and then start adding weight, okay? Because if you've been doing this wrong for a few years, you might find you suddenly can't lift as much as you have been uh, when you start doing it the right way. Um, the grip on this one is a lot closer. Go with like a shoulder width grip on this one. Um, and we're just going to bring the bar down. And as you do that, notice how my elbows are staying in, right? That allows me to target my triceps on this move instead of chest. Um, as soon as your elbows come out, like that, it means that your chest and your shoulders are getting involved and they're helping. So yeah, you can get more weight on, but like I was saying over there, you're not hitting the muscle you want to hit. So we want to try and keep our elbows tucked in, okay? As soon as you do that, the exercise feels a whole lot harder. But like I say, do a set just with the bar if you haven't if you're noticing that you make that mistake, get used to the, the feeling of it, uh, target that mind-muscle connection, and then stop putting weight on. Um, on this particular exercise today, we're gonna do four sets of six to eight reps, okay? So lift as heavy as you can for six to eight reps. Uh, if you can't get six, it's too heavy. If you can get past eight, it's too light. Just try and land in that zone on every set. Um, always start with your biggest move. I'm a big believer of that. Um, you cannot really beat, the, beat this move when it comes to triceps, you can't really, find a move that you can tend to get heavier weights on than this one, so make the most of that, do it when you're fresh, That's what, especially if you're going for uh, growth in the area as well, so let's get going guys, four sets. Alright guys, next up, tricep push down. Uh, you can use any kind of bar you want on this, really a V bar. Um, I'm going to use the rope, the rope is always harder because of the instability. We're going to be doing a double drop set on this one, which I know you guys are probably familiar with from my other videos. This is a great exercise for that technique because you can just pull the pin out uh, and change it very fast. It's not like you know changing the weights on the Olympic bar that we just done. That would take too much time and defeat the object. Four double drop sets, which means eight reps, as heavy as you can go. And then what I want you to do, 
roughly half the weight and instantly push out about 15 more reps with a very strict technique. Um, just focusing on that technique, getting that squeeze at the bottom. Okay, If you're not focusing on getting that mind-muscle connection going and that squeeze at the bottom, you're kind of wasting the rep. Uh, if you're letting your shoulders come out and help you, uh, you're bending forwards and backwards, then no, just you know, ditch that approach, right? That's why it hasn't worked so far. Um, so, eight reps, let's go. With most of my workouts, we're gonna try and keep the, ref, uh, the rest down to about 30 seconds, okay? So 30 seconds we go again, we've got four rounds of this. Notice when we're doing that, we're keeping our elbows locked in, okay? I don't wanna see none of this. That is not, that is not a tricep exercise, that's, that's a knobhead exercise. <laughs> you ain't gonna see anyone doing that and getting results. Um, try and keep the elbows in, stop when it gets to here. As soon as, it, as soon as your elbows come out from there, you lose all the tension, so stop there and push all the way down, okay? And try and get that squeeze right there, right there at the bottom. Even with a light weight, that's gonna hurt. Um, that's, I certainly felt that one. So try this technique, I'm sure you'll like it. <sighs> Drop the weight immediately, guys. 15 more reps, focus on technique now, getting that squeeze at the bottom. Alright guys, you should be feeling it by now. Uh, next exercise, quite similar to the last one. On the last exercise we used the, uh, the rope with the uh, palms down grip, palms neutral grip. We're just going to work the lateral head of our triceps. Now, you should always include an exercise which is going to talk the medial head, okay? An underhand push down is the best exercise I've ever encountered full at it. You really feel this one, just hit a different part of your triceps. Uh, help stimulate more growth for you in an area that a lot of guys don't know how to hit. So let's get started. Again, we're going to do four sets using that same technique, double drop sets, okay? Hey guys, next exercise, um, a few of you might be in unfamiliar territory with that last one we just did, so I'm going to keep you in unfamiliar territory. We're going to put a, a common exercise with a new twist uh, now for you. Um, a lot of you guys before have done lying tricep extension with a knee Z bar or a straight bar, just skull crushers. Um, Get a lot of guys come up to me and say, Russ, skull crushers, they hurt my elbows. Usually it's because of the grip, you know, your, your forearms rotated this way, it's internally rotated, which is quite unnatural uh, to be pushing a big weight over your head like that. So, I'm going to adopt a, uh, this is a, a Van Damme favourite, Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, technique, which I, I picked up from him. And rotating your grip inwards during this one will take all that stress off your elbows. Um, obviously, we're going to have to use dumbbells or a cable station. Tonight, we're going to use dumbbells. Um, we're going to do another thing as well to make it even more difficult to, to help change things up in your routine. Um, so as well as the Van Damme technique here, instead of starting here, where most guys would start, 
um, I'm going to take my arms further back. Now, you see, a lot of people would do this. When you get to there, gravity takes over. There's, there's no tension between here and here. Um, so you're losing like a quarter of a rep. You're letting your, your muscles rest. So when I do this, you'll notice in a moment, I don't start there. I get the weight there, and then I take them back here. Um, my arm is straight, but I'll be feeling tension right from the get-go, which allows me to get a bit more out of each rep. And we're just going to do the rest of the exercise as normal, really squeezing your elbows in. Somebody once told me the best piece of advice on this exercise that I ever got, other than that technique, the Van Damme technique, is to concentrate on as if you had a beach ball between your elbows. Don't let them come out. Try and squeeze as you do the move. Try and keep them in. It's really hard and it will focus on hitting your triceps and not, like I said, on the close grip bench or on the rack. As soon as your elbows come out, your shoulders and your chest will become involved and it's not a tricep exercise any longer. Um, tonight, we're going to superset this with another great triceps isolation move, um, kickbacks. Now, most people do this with dumbbells. Tonight, we're going to change it up. We're going to do it with a cable station because I've got, got my gym to myself here. We might as well show you different ways of doing things, right? That's what I said I would do. Triceps kickbacks. We're going to do this with the cable station. I'm not going to use a handle. Um, I like doing this with just the, the actual caliper on the machine. Um, mistake people make with kickbacks, you'll see this with dumbbells. They get to about here with their position and the move they're not even coming to 90 degrees, right? Again, once you get past here, uh, sorry, once you get past here on the way down, gravity has eliminated. That's just like hanging. You could do that all day long. Um, so we want to try and make the most of this part of the rep. So when I do this, you'll notice I come down a bit further and I've got my elbow a bit higher and I'm pushing beyond 90 degrees. My elbow's higher than my back. So right from the start of the rep, it's, it's hurting me, right? So a bit like this. I'll be right down on the floor, elbow up higher. You'd be amazed just how much more you feel that, particularly the girls who want to hit their triceps with isolation moves. Give this a try. You can even do it with dumbbells. Like I say, you've just got to focus on getting down deep enough, getting your elbow high enough, and you'll feel the full rep instead of just the top half. Um, anyway, we're going to do three supersets, okay? Eight reps on the neutral grip line triceps extension. Uh, remember the tip of getting your elbows further back, and then we're going to do 12 reps on each arm um, with the, the cable kickbacks, okay? Let's get started guys, enjoy it. What I like to do, just before we move on to the next exercise, uh, what I like to do on the last set of tri extensions, as you approach failure, bring the dumbbells together, okay, hold them together and do your reps. Um, again, the exercise is just the same, but you've got the dumbbells pressed, and what that will do is just to help you get a few more reps out when your muscles got literally nothing left. Um, it will bring your shoulders and your chest into play a little bit, but it's really going to force your triceps to tire fast. So that's a good technique, so we just Push them together just for the last few reps of the final set. Right now though, we're moving on to the next couple of exercises to finish off today's workout. I hope you're feeling it, I certainly am. <laughs> I love this though, <laughs> let's go. All right, last part of today's workout. I always find that the, the best way to structure a workout is to get your big moves done first, then move on to smaller push and pull moves, finish off with some real hardcore body weight uh, workouts where you know it starts off you can have a weight which I'm going to have here um, on, me, on my body and I'm going to end up literally just on the floor me against me body weight until I cannot do another rep. 15 uh, weighted dips and then on the floor I'm going to do triangle push-ups, triangle grip okay which is I'm going to get in between the bench on the floor right here 
and just do them to fill you out, okay? Try and get into double figures though on every set, okay? Um, if you can't get into double figures on every set of your, your triangle push-ups, that's okay. Uh, just build up to that, okay? It'll come over time. As long as you're getting a good weight here on your dips and going to failure um, on the final set, then you're still going to see results from that, okay? We're going to do four of these bad boys. They're absolutely brutal ways to finish a workout, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm certainly going to. I, I, I love this. This is a great way to end a day at work, man. I love doing these videos. Right. We're going to get our feet up on this bench. Always makes it harder. Look for ways you can utilize the equipment to make it harder. Just by having your feet up, you can increase that difficulty so much, guys. Remember, keep the elbows in if you want to hit the triceps and keep the back straight. Um, come as low as you can. There we go. It's not about how quick you do these guys, remember it's about that squeeze. On this one you're going to get it at the top. A lot of people shy away from that burn. You hunt that burn down guys, that's where the results are. You want to be looking for that pain. Don't stop when it burns, that's when you start counting, okay? Try out the grip on the floor. Go to failure. You don't fail up here neither, guys. You fail down there, okay? You got up here, it means you did not fail. <laughs> Whew. 30 seconds rest. Uh, that's one set. We got four of these. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Like I say, this is an awesome way for me to end the day at work, so I really enjoy doing these uh, videos for you. There's much more coming on the blog, you know. Um, is that 30 seconds already? <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha